I didn't wake you, boy, did I? My lady, uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world, although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. I'm sorry, my lady, but I can't talk about it. Not yet. Everyone close to me died there. I'm sorry about what befell you. Thank you, my lady. I hope at least Radzig and those who managed to take cover are still all right. So do I. The worst thing is not being able to do anything to help them. No one can do anything against such an army. The king is in captivity and the nobility at each other's throats. What is to become of us? God alone knows. True, lad. God alone knows. I should go. It's late. You must be tired. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. What's up, guys? Aki here, and welcome back to the next episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Alright, so in the previous episode, we ended up in this town and looks like uh, it's raining and it's still night outside and someone uh, just woke me up so let's go and see where do we have to go on the minimap looks like the A is this the only 
thing where we have to go. Go to the Batman's via via the gateway stairs. All right. If I could just find it, at least somewhere here, yeah. Or, or maybe not. Go to Batman's via gateway stairs. Oh, here. All right. Do we talk with this dude? Oh, it's quite, quite loud. My respects to you. What's going on? No. What about you? Me? How could I? Wait, what? I saw you with Saroba. Didn't he tell you anything? No, nothing. Hmm. What's going on? This question feels so, feels so sketch, sketchy. Or maybe. God damn it, my stomach hurts. Or maybe I didn't need to talk with this dude. Yeah, looks like a. I could just simply. Oh, I can ride. Oh, I thought it's a horse. <laughs> it's really dark in this corner. Anyways, let's go down to A. And I guess I can't really get like a somewhere out and run the whole town because it's not really even in the map. Oh, check it out. There's this bigger map. How oh, I didn't decide before. I saw only like this small part and I thought I can't really leave this area. Alright, this dude. Let's talk with him. No. It does feel... Oh, with Sir Robert. We need to talk with this dude. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scarlet's to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. I really wonder I they if the sword will be involved. And you were right. Like they really couldn't understand what's the meaning of on that sword when they were making it in the first episode. So maybe he just stole the sword and now they are coming back for it. And the sword is at me. Alright, what's going on now? Oh, they are coming. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Ratzik, you didn't exactly pick the Wait, what? What just happened? Either. How they got out? Hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your Someone will be a bad back. guy later on. I just had a small feel. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. God, a brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like it doesn't to feel right. It doesn't feel right, oh, but no. let's just see. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense, and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the streets. 
I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? No, sir. Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Valdic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! All right, not really sure what happened there and why and how they freaking get got out All right, so Man, tonight we'll have I control. completed talk to Sir Grubart All right, let's talk with this dude Can I be any help? I could use an extra pair of eyes and yours are keen Will you keep watch of the battle? I don't wonder why the FPS is so a bad. Request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. All right. So, let's go. Jesus. Look where you're keep going. watch on the battlements. I bet there's something will happen. And looks like I need to eat something. Oh, and actually, I learned that I simply need to press C for eating, not pressing on it. Like I was, I was trying to eat with with the mouse click, but I had to press E. Thank you. And I, I still have this bloody. I still have the bloody clothes on. Wait until morning. So I had to talk with this dude. All right, something's happening. Something's happening, and I just went to the sleep on my bed. I didn't watch it. Go to Batman's for the outer ba belly. Well, uh, let's go. Let's just follow them. What's going on? Oh my god! They are attacking us as well! Wow! I'm not really sure what will happen here. See how the self appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over. You may be in for a surprise. At least this time they are calling at us and we'll try to talk or something, not sure. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Shit. That's the bastard who led the attack of Scarlet and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. You don't want to end up like them. I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markbart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, 
I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzig Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talmberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king, then, that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Talmberg, and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. I really like how it talks, explains everything and so on. Alright, we are safe, at least for now. Oh my god. <laughs> that was close, Carl. I bet we will do something, <laughs> something stupid. And we will ruin this piece. All right, <laughs> that was that was really close. Let's see if they are all gone. Yeah, they are all gone, and there's not there's no actually this field. Like they were coming from some kind of field, and <laughs> now there's trees. All right, let's go. Damn it, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Well, <laughs> you should be hungry if you're going in this corner for a whole day. You can do it. <laughs> all right, let's 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 go. Oh, there's some garden as well. Let's see what we have to do now. I have to go to Skullids. Why did Sigmund's raid? Skullids. What is Sigmund after? What do you know about Cumans? Not really sure. What is Sigmund after? Let's see. Gutenberg. Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears. And I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobs. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? The strange strategic position and strong fortifications. Uh, he was afraid for the loot. 
Let's let's go with this one. He could loot it. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory. Build Prague into a proper royal city. While King did I did I select the right answer? That's cool. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored him. Now you're starting to understand. So many names, <laughs> I can't remember them all. And took control of Prague. The people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against. I have to go to Skalitz. Let's go with this one. I need to get to Skalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. All right, so. Let me out before I lose my temper. No, that's not cool. I had to bury my parents. Yeah, my let's parents go. Let's go with this one. Them to be ravished by dogs. I have to bury them. Good God, boy. Fail. You have to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back. Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands. That's and what do you know about comments? Humans come from anyway. I don't know much about them. Only what the ch and believe me, it's all. All right, so let's end conversation here. Well, that failed, but I guess I somehow need to get out of the castle, cause it says that somewhere I just read that I have to somehow get out of the castle and get a horse. So let's see. I guess I just have to talk with Ward. Can I just jump down? Let's see what happens if I jump down. Come on, game. Why you don't let me jump down? Oh. What prisoner? I'm not prisoner. Guess they will attack me now. Or not? Let's, let's just run. Well, we are free. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's let's see in the map. We have to get back to the Skalids, which is wow oh, up here, and we are so far. Yeah, I need to get horse. Otherwise, it will take a while to get there. Wait, what? I I got arrested. Got you. <laughs> Jesus, you gave me the runaround. Let me go for Christ's sake! I have to bury my parents! You're going nowhere. Except back inside. I'll give you silver silver. Hmm. Well I'm not really good at speech, so let's go and give him some silver. I'll give you silver. How much? How much how? It worked. Let's go with nine pieces. Make an offer. Are we agreed? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. 9.5. Well, That's let's see. All right, shove me. You have reached all new level in speech. I'll deal with the others. You just get out of here on the double. Feel quite hungry. Alright, I have to avoid. Avoid everyone, but also I need a horse because that skull is actually really, really far. But alright, I guess that will be all for uh, this episode. Leave a like if you like it. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next part.